it's all right, it is go time. I am at the Penopple car and we're ready to do some uh, testing. I got the one and only Teddy. She's gonna be reading off the test as we're gonna wait to go. So I hope you're ready to be inspired. Let's do this. What's the first assignment? Go. Uh, perform percussion of the tibia. Percussion of the tibia. Okay, I'm just gonna move the one foot out of the way. Move this up out of the way. So the gas rock's out of the way. We'll come down and we're gonna hit the tibia. Take the way down. Tibia is not broken. That's a good sign. What's next? Perform percussion on the fibula. Oh, now that's on the lateral side, actually. So I'm going to do the same thing. Get your gas rug out of there. We come down. We hit that fibula on the way. Oh, look at you go. It's a good-looking fibula. It's not broken. Good signs. Uh, perform a tuning fork on the tibia and fibula. Oh, okay. So I'm going to grab my handy tuning fork. Cool. Get the gas rugs out of the way again. Give her a little ring. Perfect. Another ring. And grab the fibula. No screaming or crying. We're looking good. Perform the bump test. The bump test. So I'm going to reach down here. I'm going to grab the bottom of the ankle, hold it up, keep everything all the weight off. Take the heel of the hand right on the calcaneus. I'm going to give it a little bump. Test for any odd sounds or anything. Make sure there's no fractures before we go on anything else. Perform the bowstring of the fibula. Bowstring of the fibula. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use this side just because you're on this side with the camera. I'm going to go ahead and brace the tibia with the palms of my hand and use my fingers to wrap around. And I'm going to go ahead and grab and just work my way up the fibula, feeling for any type of crepitus or excessive movement. Where it should be. All right. Uh, we'll do ligament stability tests. Ligaments. Perform an anterior drawer. Anterior drawer test. So we're going to be testing the ATF ligament on the front here to make sure it's still intact. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to reach down. I'm going to go ahead and support the ankle. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to reach down my other palm. Grab a hold. And I'm going to go ahead and create a shearing force by pulling up on the ankle to make sure that there's no laxity. Feels good. Okay, perform a posterior drawer. Posterior drawer, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna reverse it though. I'm gonna reach this hand on, I'm gonna go underneath, come across and hold. And this hand's gonna come across, grab the head of the talus, and I'm gonna go ahead and push down, testing for the posterior ligaments, make sure they're all in place. Okay. Perform the subtalar tilt, testing the deltoid. Subtalar tilt, testing the deltoid. So to test the deltoid, I'm gonna subtalar tilt, I'm gonna again support the angle and stabilize the leg. Hand's gonna come around, grab the calcaneus. To test the deltoid, we're gonna test E version. I'm gonna switch my hands just so you can see a little better. Since the deltoid is on the medial side, up, grab, and I'm gonna go ahead and just tilt, make sure the deltoid ligament is still there. Okay, perform the subtalar tilt into inversion. Subtalar tilt into E inversion. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'll keep my hands this way just so you can see. Grab the bottom of the heel, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in, testing the uh, Ligaments on the outside, like the fibular calcaneus. Go ahead and perform the clonk test. Clonk test. Clonk test is what we're testing for a high ankle sprain or seismic sprain. We're going to go ahead and grab the tibia and fibular, keep it secure. I'm going to base the foot, and I'm going to go ahead and create a shearing force left and right, feeling for flexibility inside the mortise joint. Go ahead and perform the Clyger test. The Clyger test is the way we can taste all four parts of the deltoid. We're going to go ahead and stabilize the ankle of the foot. I'm going to grab the head of the metatarsal and make sure I've got a good firm grip. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test eversion. And now we're going to test this in both a dorsiflexion, so we can test the uh, tibiocalcaneal and posterior uh, tibiotalar. And then we're going to go ahead and test this in a neutral position. And then as we go to a more plantar position, we can test the anterior uh, tibiotalar, sorry, tibiofibular, or Tibio tailor, anterior tibio tailor, sorry, I'm all mixed around, and tibio navicular, making sure that they're all still in place. And perform the Thompson test. The Thompson test. I'm going to get my patient to go ahead and flip over to the prone position. And we're testing for, ooh, there we go, black that a little bit. Okay, so we're going to use that. I'm just going to go see this foot of the way. And we're going to go ahead and be testing this to test for the Achilles, making sure it's still there. We're going to grab a hold and firm. Give the gastrocs a look, and we can see her foot reacting to the squeeze, so we know our Achilles is still okay. I just wanted to know that. Uh, perform the Tittles test. The Tittles test. So we're testing the nerve coming down through the foot up here at high 
I'm going to come up here, got right over here behind the gas rock heads. I'm going to feel for that cord like, which is the perineal nerve. And you can see by her happiness in her face, we found it. Um, range of motion now. Okay, now we're going to move on to the range of motion. We're going to use my very fancy goiometer. Go ahead and perform active and passive plantar flexion. For active and passive plantar flexion, first thing we're going to do is put it on this side just so you can see nice and easy. Embrace the foot. Just going to come up to your 90. Find the nice joint location. Make sure I got my range of motion, my axis, everything's set. Ready to do it. I'm going to come over here up to. To a nice neutral position, and I'm going to get her to actively dorsal plantar flexion foot by pushing her toes as far down as she can to go. Good, I got my new measurement. Perfect. I'm going to get her to relax, and I'm going to take the same thing, and I'm going to go ahead and push it and see if I can get a little more flexibility in the joint capsule. Uh, perform active and passive dorsal flexion. And the dorsal flexion, we're going to do the exact same series, just in reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to set up, find my joint capsule, make sure that's set up right here on my axis. Grab it, make sure it's going to line right up around the fibula. Bring her back to that neutral position. And I'm going to go ahead and, okay, I want you to bring your toes back all the way to your face. Excellent. And see how far that goes. Take my measurement. She'll go get her to relax. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and force it a little bit further, see if I got a little more flexibility in the capsule. Uh, perform inversion and inversion of the heel. Further, perform inversion and inversion. I'm going to get my assistant to jump back on to the pro's prone position. Hashtag tummy time. What we can do here is you can just do this either by eyeballing or you can use a pen. Then we're going to make a couple marks. One being right on the center of where the subtalar tilt, your subtalar is an uh, axis rotation. And then a second dot right on the tip of the heel so you have an idea of where you're going to be. Now, once we got our nice neutral position, we're set up. We're going to go ahead and do, you said E version first? Uh, I said do both. But okay, so okay. if we start with E version, she's, I'm going to get her to rotate her foot as far out as you can get it to go. I'm going to follow where it goes. It looks like we got about ooh, eight degrees. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to see if there's any more flexibility in the capsule. Looks like we got about 10, so we're looking beautiful. We do the exact same thing. We're going to reverse it for inversion. So if she's here, we do the same thing. I want you to go ahead and try to roll your foot in as far as it goes. Excellent. I'm going to take my same measurement. Excellent. I'm going to relax. And I'm going to do the same thing. See how far I get to go. Perfect. We got about 10 degrees again, so we got good flexibility in the joint. That's everything. Um, that's, that's all we need. Okay, so that was all the um, muscle range of motion, the special tests, and uh, if there's anything the else that's missing in the fracture test, we did a couple of bony palpations and everything. So if there's anything else you're missing, let me know. I'll be happy to get the panopla back out and uh, come in here and inspire more hearts and minds.